hi welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to import dynamic arrays results to power query using the new from sheet in the get and transform so let's get started please remember to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notification of new videos now this new feature is currently available in the beta channel of m365 and office 365 so let's see what this feature does so i'm going to come to the data tab of the ribbon under the get and transform we have this new from sheet which replaces the old from table range now let's see our sample data we have this little data formatted as an excel table i want to filter this data using the filter function based on the criteria specified now let's see how to do that come to cell h5 equal sign filter now for the array i want to filter the entire data in this table so i'm going to select the data um, and we have two criteria so i'm going to open parentheses for the first criteria so i'm going to check the many side for this payment method which is equal to the selected unique payment method in cell h2 close the first criteria and because we are using the and operation so i'm going to put in the multiplication sign open the parentheses for the second criteria so i want to check the many side for the brand if this equal to the selected unique brand in cell i2 so i close the second criteria and close the filter formula control enter cool so we have the data you know filtered right and this of course are what is called you know speed ranges this is where the main formula is located now let's get this into the power query using a new from sheet now you can actually click on this from sheet from here or you can even right click a cell and choose get data from sheets so both will lead us to the power query editor where we have the dynamic array result being imported cool so we have our data in a power query so this is cool so let's just replace this with proper date that type so i'm going to replace the current step and then let's give a meaningful name so let's call it da result click enter and then i'm going to close and load to a table now in the input data i'm going to go to the table and then we want a new worksheet so click ok amazing so we have our data ready now let's do a little bit of um, filtering from the main sheet which is translation data so i'm going to come here now let's see i want to further modify this formula by checking aside from these two criteria so i'm going to check the this amount that is greater than or equal to forty thousand dollars so i'm going to come here delete this another and operation open parenthesis for the third criteria so i want to check the this amount column if it is greater than or equal to forty thousand dollars close the third criteria close the filter control enter cool so we have only how many records we have 14 records now when i come to this da result all i need to do is to just select a single cell and right click and choose refresh and it will automatically obey so this is a cool feature that allows you to import your de result into the power query so to tidy things up finally i'm going to come to this just grab this Control c and i'm just going to paste the headers here and that concludes the whole thing so i hope you enjoyed this new v video if you do please Remember to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.